What is up guys? Eamon Cushing here with Cushing Exterior Cleaning. We are back with another video. So today we're doing a fence cleaning and we're also doing some work uh, in a lanai. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Uh, the person that I was working for, they wanted to repaint their fence. Um, it already had paint on it. So what I'm doing here is I'm stripping that layer off and also removing the mold and algae. Uh, before I went and started to pressure wash this, I applied some sodium hypochlorite to the fence just to help kill off the mold and algae. So you'll be able to see after I pressure wash this because I post treat it uh, with some more sodium hypochlorite. So you'll be able to see that. Uh, that's actually what I'm doing right here. So this, what I'm using is called an X-Jet. An X-Jet is an incredible way to apply chemical uh, if you don't have a soft wash system. Um, the rate at which it applies a chemical is usually a two to one ratio. So two parts water, one part chemical. Um, so, you know, there's different mixtures for different things. Sometimes you want a really hot mixture. So hot, which means high percentage of sodium hypochlorite. Sometimes you want a low mixture. Uh, the job might not be too dirty. So maybe you want more of a one to 2% sodium hypochlorite. So you do your measurements, you, you know, dilute it with water to what you want to do and, uh, shoot it out the X jet. And the X-Jet's incredible because it can shoot super far. So I'm able to clean sides of houses with this. I'm able to clean roofs with this. Uh, I'm able to apply it to driveways. Like this thing is just so versatile. Um, you'll be able to see me do it again here. Um, so the reason I'm coming and post treating this is just to really make sure I kill any mold and algae. Um, that was a high priority for the customer here. Um, so this will just kill anything that may have been left behind. Uh, and I missed a spot there, that's why I went back. So here we're starting with the inside of the fence and it's just super nice. You can see that old paint come right off. Um, and I'm really trying to get even strokes here. I'm not trying to go over a spot too much because I don't want to strip the wood off. Um, so you can see here especially, I'm just doing up and down. Just one pass on each panel. Uh, so that is just to make sure everything's even, to make sure there's no tearing in the wood. Uh, we want the wood to be uh, nice and smooth. We don't want it to be super splintery. So here we go down the whole way. So I did uh, this side of the fence. You just saw me do the back side of the fence. And then I also did on the other side of the house, um, there was a fence over there. But my phone battery died once again. Geez, this seems to be the biggest problem I'm having is this stupid phone battery. Um, <laughs> again, only lasted two hours, but that's okay. We got some good footage here. Uh, if you're wondering what nozzle I'm using, I'm using my turbo nozzle. Um, I was using a 40 degree tip at first, but it just wasn't powerful enough to strip the paint. Um, it was, I just really had to sit there uh, for super long and the turbo nozzle did an incredible job at removing the mold, algae, and a layer of paint. So um, this client will be able to paint his fence no problem and it's going to look super good once he's done here. Um, I love just seeing the color difference, just incredible. Even though it is wet, I mean it's just super, super cool to see. Um, so after I finish here, uh, what I'm doing is I'm rinsing everything off just so there's nothing left behind. So again, the client is able to paint. So here, uh, the client requested me to clean this deck, not to pressure wash it, because it was newly painted, but just to do a little soft wash. So here I am applying the chemical, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna eat away the algae that was sitting on top. I'm doing it for the lanai screens as well, um, just the siding, and also the white fence over there. Um, just incredible results from this thing. There's the X Jesse, it shoots a little bit further. Um, getting the ground over here, this part of the lanai. Uh, and I just let that sit for like 10 minutes and I rinse it off right here. Um, so just low pressure, like I said, you know, some of those plant uh, pot marks, you know, I had to get a little bit closer to remove those. Uh, but this stuff killed the algae, all the green went away, which was incredible. Uh, and the client was definitely happy. And same for the little and ice creams as well. They came up super nice. But yeah, this is how you basically do uh, a small soft wash job 
there was very little pressure used uh, in the lanai here because I didn't want to rip up any paint in here. Um, but the chemical will remove uh, just about everything, which is incredible. Um, so here I am, I had to use a little pressure here. Um, came up really good. But hey guys, thank you for watching another video. Please like, please subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.